hello and welcome on to this story. My name is Peter. Head on to this story. We're just going to see how we can be able to add this feature that we will check if the product is on the cart. And if the product is on the cart, it will just proceed to the checkout. And if the product is not in the cart, it will just add one piece and it will proceed to checkout. Let's head over back to the shop again here. Remember, this is the product we had and it's still the one in the cart so if i press add to cart again or i open here i open it on a single page and i press add to cart it will not add even one any other single product but if the customer want to add more customer will just need to view the cart and it can be able to add just the quantity they need on the uh on the cart page this would be this feature would be much applicable on those people who are selling or who are dealing with digital product, uh, they are trying to avoid duplicate sale of um, the product. Maybe you're selling some music, you find custom purchases the uh, same music uh, twice, and they don't. Uh, they only don't need to download it once. So this feature will just help you on that. And for those people who just who are trying to avoid duplicate sale from customers without knowing, customer just press that card maybe twice or thrice, and have a duplicate or multiple uh, same product. That's the tutorial for today. And if you find the tutorial helpful, helpful to you, hit the thumbs up, help me spread the gospel. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. So the first thing you just need to do is we head over to the dashboard. Let me just head over to the dashboard here. And on the dashboard menu, we need to install a plugin that will facilitate for us to be able to add the features so easily. So I just click on new. Here, I just need to search for code snippet. Here we have it. It's from Code Snippet Pro. It is a 700,000 active installation. So I have already installed it. I, if I try to activate it from my plugin repository, I get some errors. So what I just need to do is I head over to the plugin and I select uh, install plugin and I can activate it from here. So from here, I can just be able to click uh, the button for snippet or you can head over to, you can head over to the dashboard menu and here you have the button for snippet. Select here and select a new. We need to add our code. So I just give it a name that will be easy for me to remember. So uh, with this now, I can be able to identify this, uh, this is the code I maybe need to deactivate maybe for some purpose. So from there, I include the link of the description of where you can get the code from. So what I just need to do is hit on this small icon and on click it, just copy everything and just paste it. And from there, all I just need to do is save and activate. If like for instance, let me just deactivate it first and I head over to shop and I refresh here. If I open the if I open this product here and I add to cut. You can see I can be able to add as many as I can. So let me just remove them and I also remove this one. I head over to my snippet here and I activate. If you are new to this plugin, if you want to activate or deactivate, so select all, all snippet. You can toggle this button on and off. With that, you just be able to deactivate or activate the plugin the easy way. So if I have it right now there and I click this auto, auto cut button, I'll be directed to the checkout. If I head over back, let me just head over back here and I refresh here. You can see my product is already in the cart like that. You can see here we have it. I can be able to adjust as many quantity I can be able to add on my cart page and I, and I update like that. You can see customer can be able to purchase it uh, to update and, purchase and proceed to check out when they have adjusted uh, the cart, uh, the quantity they just need. If I head over back here and I decide now, let me add maybe something like eggs and I add to cart like that. It is still also direct me to add to cart. So if customer want to maybe to have maybe five, five eggs can be able to adjust from here and update the cart. I hope, I hope to this story was of benefit to you. If you did learn something out of this story, hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Till next time. Thank you.